For those of you who are taking, listening, and speaking, wanted to summarize again the rules for the debate. So what makes a good debate? Well, it's going to consist of these three components. An opening statement, the debate itself, and the closing statement. Remember that the opening statement, each team will present, will begin the debate by presenting their opening statement no longer than two minutes. Notice that each of the time requirements for each of the components of the debate I'm mentioning the limit, the, the most that you can speak. I'm not mentioning the, the minimum amount you can speak. So remember that each team should have a timekeeper to keep the time uh, of the opposing team. So make sure you coordinate that with your team and make sure you have at least one person who's in charge of keeping the time uh, for the other person. The opening statement, no longer than two minutes and you want to summarize or introduce your argument and summarize your, your conclusion, what you think about your position. The pro team will begin the opening statement, and that will lead into uh, after the pro team will begin, the, the, the team that is against the issue will continue with their opening statement. And then we'll come back to the pro team to begin the first debate turn. Remember, a debate turn has three components, an original claim, a counterclaim, and a rebuttal. The original claim is up to two minutes, no longer than two minutes. The counterclaim from the opposing team, no longer than one minute. And a rebuttal, no longer than one minute. All right, so again, these are limits. These are time uh, limits that you need to respect to complete one debate turn. Remember that one reason is one debate turn, and we'll look at that here in a minute. Um, after you have completed the first debate turn, then the opposing team begins with their first reason and introduces their claim, and the second debate turn continues. And then you go on throughout the debate since we're having uh, four members of each team we're going to have eight total debate turns when you finish the debate itself when you've completed the eighth debate turn then you will finish by introducing your closing statements the pro team will begin no longer than two minutes followed by the opposing team now, as we talked about in class, this is a, summarize, uh, a summary of the different components of the debate. So what I've done here in the comments section along the right is to introduce the order in which all of, this, all of these different components uh, are to take place. So the four team will begin with their opening statement. That's number one, followed by the opening statement of the opposing team, number two. And then the four team will begin with their first reason, it's number, point number three, and that will be one debate turn. In total, no longer than four minutes. Again, introducing the initial claim or the uh, original claim, the counter claim, and the rebuttal. And then followed by the first reason, reason number one, this will be point number four. This will be the fourth component followed by reason number two from the four team, point number five, followed by reason number two, point number six, and so on. Reason number three, point number seven, reason number three for the opposing team, point number eight, okay? So once you finish the last reason from the opposing team here, then we begin with the closing statements. The closing statement, that'll be point number 11, and the closing statement for the against team, that will be point number 12. So there's 12 components if you think in terms of the each opening statement is one, each of the reasons, and so on. Remember that you have four members in your team, and so each member should be responsible for each or one reason. Also remember that each of your team members should be responsible for one counterclaim. 
one counterclaim. So in this first example, reason number one for the four team, the counterclaim, this will be one of the team members from the opposing team, right? And it doesn't matter which one, but you should have one person assigned to each of the counterclaims from the opposing team. The evidence in this outline, as we talked about in class, is only supporting the original claim and possibly the rebuttal. Only the original claim. There, uh, I'm not asking for any evidence in this outline for the counterclaim. But the reason that I'm, I ask everyone the day before the debate to know which claim you're going to counter is so that you can prepare. So you might have to, uh, in your notes, find some information that is supportive of your counterclaim to argue against the original claim. All right, so again, it's very important the, that you have a timekeeper, that you respect the time. The entire debate should not last more than 37, 38 minutes at the most, right? If we're respective of the time limits for each of these. Now, these are the time, this is the, 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 the longest that you can speak. If you have nothing to say, then you pass and you go on to the next section of the debate. But a good debate is going to utilize the time allotted to answer the question or to put forth a claim. All right, so a good debate is going to utilize all of the time that's allotted for speaking. All right, so I hope this clarifies um, the debate. We'll have some time to prepare before we actually conduct the debate today in class, but I wanted to summarize once again uh, the instructions for uh, for today's debate.